I guess the real question here is how can you not like Tesla? He thought women would eventually rule the world because they were the dominant sex. He liked pigeons. He was a vegetarian. He was a babe. He was shy. He hated Edison, as we all do. And he's perfect. Yeah, as long as you're okay with that time he went bonkers and tried to build a death ray. Are you serious? The death ray was the best part! So, I meant to say, oh crap, I left my phone in my car. But what I almost said was, oh no, I left my cone in my far. And damn, would have that been embarrassing? But I caught myself, and what I actually said was, ah, my fart cone. So anyway, whenever I'm in a group project, I'm like, give me the easiest job so I won't disappoint anyone. But I'm also like, now let me do everything, you're doing it all wrong! If you wake up much earlier than normal, you feel secret emotions. One time I woke up at like 7 a.m. and I stared at the sunrise for like an hour. Don't know what emotions those were, but they sure were a lot. If you stay up late enough, you feel the same emotions. But the bad version of them. Okay, how come reading tea leaves is seen as sophisticated witchy thing? But if I slam dunk an open can of Chef Boyardee ravioli onto the pavement in the gas station parking lot to see what kind of soda the old ones think I should buy, Food innovation suddenly isn't cool anymore? Like, seriously? Guy orders custom size 14 and a half slipper. Company sends size 1450 instead. That is the opposite of a problem. A new bed! Are, are you sure this isn't a mistake? Why would it be a mistake? You never look at a horse, wait, shit, hang on. You never get a horse in the mouth. Ugh, fuck, p please help me. It's gift. Never give the horse in the mouth! Despicable Me is a valid movie Facebook moms just decided the minions were funny instead of paying attention to the found family message that it's actually about. It was simply about a bald Russian man with fucked up legs that learned that loving his three adopted daughters is more important than stealing the moon. Sometimes a family can be a top-heavy triangle man, a mad scientist, three girls, and several thousand banana-flavored Tic Tacs. I still don't understand that movie. Like, what? Why is there a bald man who's a mad scientist with a Russian accent trying to steal the moon and who let him adopt kids? The children. Hmm. Here we see a baby wiggle floof cleaning its tiny squish beans. Highly technical terminology, you understand. We must be scientific about the floofy wiggums. My assessment of this wiggle floof is an eight point squeeze on the DAW scale. I've never been this annoyed reading comments on a photo of a cat in my life. Guess what? Chicken butt? I have been defeated! Sweet release! Dystopian novels be like, there's no music but our national anthem and this forbidden rebel song. As if all Earth is really gonna let go of ABBA music. Consider, the forbidden rebel songs are all from ABBA. Mamma mia, here I go again. A new version of Phineas and Ferb is being released. It is on a streaming service and will be rated M.A. Everyone wonders what this mature version of their beloved's kids show will be. The first season is released and you started watching it. It's just the same as the first season of the old show. Is this some elaborate joke? Finally, at the end of the first episode, it happens. Dr. Doofenshmirtz is defeated, as he usually is. And this time, however, as Perry is making his exit, you hear Doofenshmirtz yell, Fuck you, Blurry the Blatipus! This is the only thing that has changed in the show. And I love everything about it. I'm on medication that can make me spacey as fuck, which can be a problem when I'm driving. Like yesterday, for example, when my best friend was trying to help me avoid a pothole, he said to the left, and I just mumbled, take it back, Dario, and hit the pothole straight on. Fuck, big mood. Writing prompt. Reincarnation is a known, common, and expected result of death. You are a bounty hunter that specializes in tracking down people who have committed suicide to escape debts or a jail sentence. It's a girl, the doctor explained. It's a fucking tax dodger is what it is. Blaze, the flame Hogan, burst into the infirmary, cocking his shotgun. This baby owes $440 million to the government. Boiled again. I'll get away next time, Blaze. The baby clenches their tiny fist. All right. I'm not going to say it again. A bog is a wetland that is acidic, and a fen is a wetland that is alkaline. Finally, someone said it. A swamp is a wetland whose vegetation consists of trees or other woody plants, and a marsh is a wetland with the other forms of vegetation. A little louder for other people in the back. 
I love it when dogs are in guard, but not in full bark mode yet, and they just whisper, Bruff. Bruff. Oh, it's precious. Back when I was a beekeeper, my bees were really gentle, and one time I scooped up a handful of them, and I got really emotional. I wanted to kiss them, and I essentially face-planted myself into a palm full of bees while crying. And that's the most important fact about me. If giving fairies your name makes it belong to them, then does the same apply to giving them any of your possessions as well? Can I take your coat? Yeah, sure, thanks. No, thank you. Wait, what the fuck? Beefay, do crime. Why would suburban super cities depopulate? Plague, obviously. Oh, cool, something to look forward to in 2020. Oh, for fuck's sakes. LP first posted this in 2018 for the context, and what an on-point prediction. I remember a more innocent time when two bros would chill in a hot tub six feet apart, not because of a global pandemic, but merely because they were not gay. Good times, bruh. Fun fact! Did you know that spiders are actually 12 foot tall and they're chasing you as you read this? Lucky Joe, please, I'm begging you not to do this! You know I have to. Okay, my mom has these Winnie the Pooh salt and pepper shakers on the stove, but Christopher Robin fell over and it looks like he's having a breakdown while Pooh dissociates. Hmm. I had a dream where I was sitting in a dark office and reality felt really altered and strange. And there was just a fish tank illuminating the room. And then this fucking fish looked at me and grinned with human teeth. And this super deep voice said, You've been here a while. Better wake up before you forget how to. And I fucking woke up in a cold sweat. Dude, I think you went to hell. You know what I want to know? How the fuck did Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper make a fucking cinnamon shaker for a baby? Solve that mystery, Steve. That is paprika, you ignorant slut. Excuse me, asshole. That is Cinnamon. He was born in the fourth season. Paprika looks like this. That's fucking Paprika. She's Cinnamon older sister. Goddamn, Tumblr, I'm fucking done with your shit. Tumblr is getting heated over Blue's Clues. Good times. Did you know some people stop being tired? Like they can enjoy a cup of coffee, then go on with their day feeling awake and functional? That they don't feel exhausted all day long? Like, that's so weird. What's up with that? Uh, source? OP, where's the source? OP, where's the source? Team of people and there's one girl is literally the worst trope and I'm tired of it. It's weird because it's always like, we need one of each personality trope. And then, this one's personality is girl. Ah, <sighs> yep. Today I learned Thomas Jefferson had a Shetland sheep that he kept on the White House lawn described as this abominable animal. It would attack people who took shortcuts across the lawn, injuring a few people, and even killing a small boy. Well, they just let any shit happen back then, huh? Lin-Manuel Miranda's a coward for not showing this in Hamilton! Okay, so, like, there's a dude on Twitter saying nuggets are good, too, when they're boiled, so, um, I'm trying it right now. Update! It's hella good! They're better than fried nuggets! This is the worst thing I've read, and I'm tempted to try it immediately. Stoodle creep, are you talking about chicken nuggets? Did you boil chicken nuggets? I did boil chicken nuggets! Character in a fight scene. Restrains their opponent by pinging them against the wall by their wrists. Mm. Pins their opponent down by straddling their waist and holding their wrists to the floor. Oh. Lifting their disarmed opponent's chin slightly into the business end of their weapon. Oh. Pins down the opponent and leans in close to whisper in their ear. Mm. Restrains the opponent by twisting their arms behind their back and pinning them to the wall chest first with their own chest pressing against their opponent's back. <laughs> Restrains opponent's arms in a lock hold with their own entangling their arms together, forcing their bodies to be pressed together and faces in close proximity. <laughs> Holds opponent by collar, lifts them, and brings them close to their face. 